Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we had discussed about the classes. Some of the classes have been added in the concurrent atomic package in Java 8. And we had, uh, uh, I mean, brief introduction about these four classes. Now, if you see in the list, so very first class is called double accumulator. So in this video tutorial, we are going to uh, see some hands on this on this class so basically when one or more variables that together maintain a running double value updated using a supplier function when update method like uh, you have a accumulator accumulate method right so accumulate which takes double value are contended across threads the set of variables may grow dynam dynamically to reduce contention. Method we have a method is called get. Uh, get or we have a equivalently method is called double value, right? Returns the current value across the variable maintaining updates. Uh, this class is usually preferable to alternatives when multiple threads update a common value that is used for purposes such as summary statistics that are frequently updated but less frequently read so here i have created a project uh, with name double accumulator demo so let's try to understand uh, the one of the huge case so how we can make use of these classes using a practical example so here I'm going to create a package com dot dot task and I'm going to create a, a class is called double accumulator service task okay and that is going to implement a package uh, sorry interface is called callable and this will I'm going to use generics as a double okay so this is our double accumulator service task class now let's create a client program over here so I'm going to create a client program a double test and which will have a main method now in this main method what I'm going to use I'm going to use double accumulator class and this package happens to be so double accumulator right and this package happens to java.etool.concurrent.atomic package and let's create an object of this class now If you look into the I mean constructor then you can see this constructor takes two parameter first parameter is the double binary operator right and second parameter is identity so you can see creates a new instance using the given accumulator function and identity element so identity elements in nothing as an initial value and if you look into the double binary operator so it's a functional interface which is having only one method which takes two double argument as an input and that you can perform some business logic on these two input and finally we will have to uh, produce the output so that's the huge case so let's create a we can define a lambda expression for this class right so let's define a lambda expression for this class and as i have shown you this method takes two parameters so let's first parameter is the x say x and second one is the y so here we can perform some arithmetic operation on these two parameter which is type of double so here just i'm trying to add these two parameters right so this, this is the lambda expression i have defined over here and identity elements i'm going to take take uh, 5.0 so this is the initial value now 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 i'm going to modify my service task class 
here I'm going to declare some value like private double accumulator double accumulator so let's say the small a d and I'm going to declare a private some kind of long variable like long I would say number of times right and I'm gonna create a constructor of this class so let's select the option generate constructor using fields so here is the constructor and here in call method I'm going to iterate I'm going to apply a for loop over here and that will start from one and that will go till whatever number of times we are going to supply the right number of till number of times now we here we are going to make use of this double accumulator and double accumulator I have shown you a uh, method is called accumulator right so this basically this method is accumulating the value and final result will return to the call so here I'm going to specify double 10.0 so every time when this is getting called then 10 will be accumulator and as for the defined uh, this lambda expression so this will be added with the initial value okay now here end of the result uh, end of the this loop you can say double dot get value right this will return you the accumulated accumulated result so directly this code we can right inside the return statement is uh, in return statement itself okay so it's pretty simple in which cases now now let's go to the client program so here is the client program now what i'm trying to do i'm going to create two instances of this class so this is our task right so this is our callable task now here i'm going to <coughs> create uh, task one <coughs> sorry now so this is taking accumulator so here double accumulator we have created and number of times I'm gonna specify 1000 so it's a long so and again I'm going to create a another callable task and I would say this task is the R task 2 so we have a basically two tasks right now let's create a list of callable list of callable uh, so I'm a very lazy programmer so just I'm trying to copy from here so this is a list of callable right and I would say task equal to new and you can take any implementer of list so here i'm taking array list but you are free to choose any implementer of the list right in this tasks list what i'm trying to do i'm just adding these two to my task callable task so this is task one and let's add task two okay so these two tasks I have added in this list so if, uh, if we can say we have a list of tasks right now I'm going to use executor framework over here so we have executors frameworks executor framework executor we have a chance to create different kind of thread pool right so I would say new fixed thread pool and thread size I'm gonna take two and we have a submit method which accepts callable as an argument right so here we can say new sorry so not submit method because we here if you use submit method this will give you a chance to submit only one task at a time so we have a method is called invoke all which accepts collection itself right sorry so I don't want to specify any timeout so it takes only one parameter so here tasks I'm going to pass over here and this is throwing some exceptional lists 
wrap this code inside the try catch. <coughs> okay. Now we have a <coughs> list of future object, and here we can iterate this object. <coughs> Sorry. And here uh, we have to get result of every future object so we can call get method and get method throw some exception so say uh, add cache surrounding the tries add exception in the existing cache so, right and finally this will execute my bot task right so here we have added task one twice so i want to add task one and task two in this list now this will execute my bot task and finally what i'll i'll do uh, from this accumulator which I'm passing to this, this task will get the final result right so I would say get method over here and this will give us the final result right so I would say final result right and final result we can print print out over here okay so if I run it then let me show you the output so we got got output to 2005 so why 2005 so let's see so let's first execute for the small number of times so suppose i'm passing 10 so this is nothing but a number of times right so this executor task when you call this one and finally this call method is getting executed and we are passing 10 10 10 is the number of times so this is 10 is getting added 10 times so that is 100 and this code is executed for the two task right so 100 plus 100 200 and 5 is 5 is the initial value so as per the this lambda expression that will get added so that's why we are getting the 200 5 so if you increase the number of times so according we'll get and this will work for the huge number you can specify the huge number and we are getting the uh, calculator value uh, like 2 4 times 0 and 5 so that and here you can you can see that you can print the uh, you can print a uh, thread name as well and you can check so how this task is calculated by how many threads so we have a thread class right we have a thread class thread has a concrete thread sorry thread dot current thread and current thread get name right so you can print the name you can see so how i mean we are using the thread pool to complete this task so you can see number of thread fortunately i mean you can see number thread 2 and thread 1 is getting used initially thread 2 got the chance to execute this one and finally thread 1 also and while finally we get the accumulator result over here so this is the one of the pretty straightforward huge case uh, how we can make use of the double accumulator so that's all i wanted to show in this video tutorial uh, this code i am going to upload on the github so that you can download and try to run and you can understand by providing the different output uh, different input and here i have performed this action for the addition but here you can have any kind of arithmetic operation right in next video tutorial i'm going to explore some of the api which is inside this class if you go to the uh, accumulator double accumulator class then there are some api so we'll explore about this important api so please be with me over there and thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial